Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest in 2017. As always, thank you for watching. So one of my goals for 2017, well, it was my goal in 2016 too. I want to see more Linux users moving over from Windows 10, moving over from Mac. Uh, so I'm going to start out a series here where I'm comparing some of the function and UI and features of Windows 10 to Linux. So today we're going to take a look at the Windows 10 start menu and we're going to compare it to the KDE desktop application menu option. So let's jump over to Windows 10 start menu. For the most part, the Windows 10 start menu took uh, the interactive tiles from the really, I'll just call it the failed Windows 8 full screen start menu, which the tiles in Windows 8 were not quite as interactive. They have made improvements, but Microsoft quickly realized from user feedback that the full screen Windows 8 start menu was not something they wanted. So Microsoft quickly abandoned Windows 8 and uh, moved on over to Windows 10. Now with Windows 10, the start menu did improve. The tiles did become somewhat more interactive, but they've never really fully realized the potential I think that Microsoft had in store uh, for the interactive tiles. They also can slow down the start menu, and you'll find that many people will remove a lot of these tiles here to kind of clean up the look so that it's not so cluttered, which really kind of defeats the purpose. So what do we have to offer, particularly in the KDE desktop environment as far as the application launcher is concerned? Well, let's take a look. Uh, my favorite happens to be, and I call it simple menu, it's actually the application menu, but it's very simple in its approach and its use. Uh, here on the far left, you get options to power off, log out, uh, you've got a row here for favorite icons. In the center, you're going to see recent applications, recent documents, uh, as well as a list of main categories, application categories. So if you highlight or click on one of the main categories, you'll see a slide out with corresponding applications to that category. And at the bottom, you've got a simple and fast search function. So I really like the simplicity of the application menu. Again, I call it simple menu. Now, if you were to right click on this K here, you will find options to go in and configure this to your liking. And that is the same with any of the menu options I'm about to show you. So if this doesn't float, you boat, float your boat, you've got an alternative menu called application menu. So under application menu, it's a similar layout to what I call simple menu, but you get a list of main categories here at the bottom where you have favorites that list your favorites and kind of populate the screen. You've got applications, which gives you an alphabetical list of applications. Under computer, you're going to see your files and folders and such, as well as various settings. And then under history, you're going to see a history of the applications that you've uh, used and then you've got an option here for log out, shut down, so on and so forth. Perhaps that's not something that you like. We've got another option for you. So besides application menu, we've got application dashboard. Now application dashboard is just that. It's a large dashboard that kind of fills your screen. This is very nice if you have a uh, touch screen device. Maybe you've got a hybrid tablet or something like that. But it works just as well without a touch screen. On the left, you're going to have favorites. Uh, you can pin favorites to that section. In the center, you're going to see applications. That's going to uh, correspond to what you've selected here on the far right in your main categories. You also have recent documents, all applications. You can jump right over to settings or system or utilities as well as power session. On top of that, you've got on the far left here options for shutdown, restart, and log out. Now, I like this. This is one of those interfaces for applications that kind of grows on you. Although, again, the simple menu is still my favorite. Well, perhaps you're saying to yourself, but you know what? I like the Windows 10 start, start menu. If that's the case, we may have an option for you within KDE. It's called the Application Tile Menu. And while it's not identical to the Windows 10 Start Menu, and honestly, do I really want it to be? I can tell you my answer is no. I don't want it to be identical to the Windows 10 Start Menu. But this gives you a similar look in that you've got favorite icons that you can pin here. They're not interactive, 
but this is a very fast launcher. You get access here to a search with an alphabetical list of your applications in the center, as well as access to shutdown options. A uh, quick jump over here to system settings or your files and folders. The hamburger menu gives you some more options. And again, if you right click on the K here, you'll get options to go in and really uh, configure this menu in multiple ways. There's lots of options. Point being, within Linux, you have options to set up the UI for your operating system the way you see fit. And it's not just the KDE desktop. Uh, that's the way it is in Linux with multiple desktops. So again, my focus here is to illustrate to you that Microsoft uh, they may want to dictate to you what they think is the best UI for you to use, but you do have alternatives. So that's my hope for uh, 2017, whether it's the dashboard here or the tile menu or the simple menu. My hope for 2017 is that I can point out to people that Linux is about freedom and choice, and that is a good thing. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this helps, and we will check you later.